Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So it's official. And Microsoft, over on their Known Issues Health dashboard page on the 30th of April, has now officially confirmed that they won't be fixing and can't fix the now infamous update KB5034441 that rolled out on the 9th, 10th of January earlier this year, depending on your region. So that's now official over on their Known Issues Health dashboard page. And we've been covering this update quite in depth on the channel. And if you want more info regarding this update, a playlist will be in the end screen of this video. Now, just a quick recap um, regarding the issues this update has been causing for numerous users. Um, devices attempting to install the January 2024 Windows Recovery Environment Update, 503.4.4.1. Um, might display an error related to the size of the recovery environment's partition. And the Windows Recovery Environment, WinRE for short, is used to repair or recover from issues affecting Windows. Now, uh, fortunately, um, uh, for me, fortunately, the update installed correctly and there were no issues. But for numerous users, that was not the case. And it was causing the error 0x8007064 with the message error install failure. Now it's something to take note of and this is quite important and I have posted on this previously. If your Windows device does not have a recovery environment con configured, you do not need the update. And I've posted on this previously. So in that case, um, the error can be ignored. Just ignore the update. I think that's actually just the best. And I have posted a video on how you can actually hide the update. And that's uh, in the... that playlist will be in the end screen where you can get access to all the information regarding on how to do that. But if you want to figure out whether your device has a recovery environment configured, it's actually quite simple to do. And all you do is you enter cmd command into your search. You right click on the highlighted entry. You run as admin because this will not work. And then what you do is you enter this command and this command will be down below in the description for you to copy and paste. You enter that in, you hit enter and now you'll see Windows RE status, that's the recovery environment enabled. So if it is enabled, you'll see enabled and obviously if you don't have a Windows recovery environment, uh, you'll get the message disabled uh, here at the top after you've run that command. So that's such a quick and easy way to find out if you have Windows Recovery Environment enabled. Now, here is the official resolution from Microsoft where they have said, and I'm quoting, automatic resolution of this issue won't be available in a future Windows update. Manual steps are necessary to complete the installation of this update on devices which are experiencing this error. And I actually think this is a little bit cheeky uh, because this update has been doing more harm than good Although you can safely ignore the update as I've posted previously and it's just been causing a lot of headaches for a lot of users. And it makes me think why Microsoft actually rolled the update out in the first place because now there is no resolution. The resolution is to manually configure your Windows recovery partition size which I have posted on previously. So just a quick recap, if you... Um, if you enter create and format hard disk or just disk partition into your search, this takes us over to the disk management um, dialog. And yeah, you will see your recovery environment and recovery partition. And this can take a second or two to open. And yeah, is mine. Now mine's in the front here uh, because I do boot this machine with Linux Mint. But for most, it most probably will be yeah, right at the back. But nonetheless, um, Microsoft says, the WinRE partition requires 250 megabytes of free space. Mine is 900. Devices which do not have sufficient free space will need to increase the size of the partition via manual action. And for your average home user, I think that's a little bit cheeky, as I've mentioned previously, because it's quite an in-depth kind of PowerShell script process you've got to go through. And you can check that out in the playlist I have posted on that previously where you can go follow those steps from Microsoft. All the links and details will be in that playlist. So as I have posted previously, if you have the know-how, I would increase this recovery partition to at least one gig. 
And that should, in most cases, then prevent that error from appearing. But nonetheless, I'm just bringing this to your attention. And it's been a couple of months now where Microsoft did say a fix was on the way, as I've mentioned previously. And now Microsoft has said that um, an automatic resolution of this issue won't be available in a future update to address the issues that KB50341 um, was causing. And I actually think this is a little bit uh, cheeky of Microsoft, I must be honest. And I'm sure this is going to cause a lot of debate in certain circles. But nonetheless, let me know what you think down below in the comments. It'll be interesting. But um, the playlist will be here in the end screen. So um, just check it out. It's got all the information you'd need if you would like some further information. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.